Here is today's flashback for. Pause the video here and have a go at the questions. Don't forget to name the shape in the top right hand corner. Here are the solutions. And the shape is a rectangle. Today we're learning about adding decimals with a different number of decimal places. Let's have a look at an example. 2.5 add 3.16. The first number has ones and tenths, but the second number has ones, tenths and hundredths. Let's represent both of those numbers in the place value grid using counters. Now look at the column method to the right. Notice how I've lined up the decimal points. The first thing that we need to do is look at the hundredths column. We need to do zero hundredths add six hundredths. This is equal to six hundredths. Next let's look at the tenths. Five tenths add one tenth. This is equal to six tenths. And finally the ones column. Two ones add three ones is equal to five ones. So 2.5 add 3.16 is equal to 5.66. Take a look at these two calculations. They've been incorrectly lined up. Pause the video here and have a go at rewriting them, remembering to line up the decimal points. Here are the corrected versions. Pause the video here and have a go at questions 1 to 7 on the worksheet. In this example, some of the digits are missing. Let's put counters into our place value grid for the digits that we do know. First, let's look in the hundredths column. The number of hundredths in the answer is 7. And there are 7 hundredths in our hundredths column. So we don't need to add any hundredths. Now let's look in our tenths column. There are currently three tenths, and the total is six tenths. So we need to add another three tenths. So the missing number of tenths is three. Now let's look in our ones column. There are already five ones in our ones column, and there are five ones in our answer. So zero ones are needed. Now let's look in our tens column. There is one ten in the tens column, but there are two tens in our answer. So we need another one ten. Now let's look at a slightly trickier example. We'll start again by representing the digits that we know using counters in our place value grid. The hundredths is quite straightforward. We have four hundredths in the first number and we need six. So the second number must end with two hundredths. The tenths column is fine as we know both digits. What's happening in the ones column? At first, this appears rather confusing. Because how can five ones add something equal one one? What helps is looking in the tens place. Both tens digits are given, one and two. Yet the total number of tens is four. So the ones needs to be more than ten ones so that we can exchange for one ten. 
So to be left with one one, we need to add six ones. Now we can exchange ten ones for one ten. So the missing digit was six. Pause the video here and have a go at questions 8 and 9 on the worksheet.